Politics could kill an immigration deal in Congress tonight. Senate negotiators working on a border package, but former President Donald Trump is vocally opposing that plan. KCAU 9's Washington correspondent Hannah Brandt explains why that complicates their road ahead. Leaders in Washington agree there's a desperate need for border reform. The immigration system is broken and it has been for decades now. But the immigration deal Senate negotiators are working on is now in danger of collapsing. And former President Donald Trump seems partly to blame. Former President Trump has indicated to senators that uh, he does not want us to solve the problem at the border. Senator Mitt Romney accuses Trump of playing politics. That he doesn't want us to solve the border problem because he wants to blame uh, Biden for it is uh, is really appalling. The White House is making an appeal to the other party. House Republicans, they have to choose. Do they want to help or do they want to score political points? But many Republicans are taking Trump's side. On Friday, House Speaker Mike Johnson sent a letter to his colleagues calling the Senate border bill, quote, dead on arrival. While the details of the deal aren't public yet, Senator J.D. Vance says from what he does know. And frankly, I'm not too happy with the package. But the lawmakers leading the negotiations say the deal isn't dead yet. We know how important this is. We are negotiating in good faith and want to get this done in a bipartisan way. The White House says they still have hope lawmakers can reach a compromise. There has been progress in their conversations. And the pressure is on as concerns about immigration intensify. It is truly of crisis proportion and it is very dangerous for our country. If the package does fail to pass, Senator Joe Manchin says the president should take steps to crack down on the border himself. In Washington, I'm Hannah Brandt.